How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today is the last time I'll be using this tour called Sunny Day Team. And as always if you want to battle me then join the Discord server in the description it's your best bet. And please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said let's find ourselves a game. Okay, I found my opponent. They've got a pretty interesting looking team. I don't like the look of that Blissey, but he's fine. Uh, when I see he's got an Entei and a Gyarados, they're pretty cool Pokemon to be using. I haven't seen Gyarados in a little while, I don't think. I, either that or it didn't leave much of an impression on me, but it's whatever. So looking at this guy's team, I'd say Venusaur could do some work here, but it's mainly going to be used as a way of switching into the Rotom. Um, Blissey's there. We're going to definitely need Hairy Armor to deal with that. Uh, Mama Swine could be the good for taking out the Latios a bit later. Looks like Swellow could have some fun again. Yeah. We can get rid of that Rotom. No, we don't even need to get rid of the Rotom. Unless it's Choice Scarf, in which case we do. Uh, I think getting the Sun up and Stealth Rocks up is going to be important. And he's probably going to lead to counter that, but it's fine. We'll have the Sun up. We don't have to worry about any water type moves, okay? And the battle begins. They're going to lead off with their Gyarados, which is... To be expected in this situation, as I'm going to go ahead and lead with my Torkoal. Not sure what this guy's going to be doing with the Gyarados. I hope he's not one of them people that just Dragon Nets his first turns. I mean, it's, it's viable. You can, you know, you can do some good stuff, but it's just, just wow. Why, why you do this? So uh, I'm tempted to go for a Will-O-Wisp just to burn the Gyarados off early on. Seems like a good plan. Um, it could be Lumberry though, which is risky on my my side. So. I think we go for the Will-O-Wisp here because he's definitely going to go for a Waterfall or a Dragon Dance. Yep, there's the Dragon Dance. So if we can burn him, that's going to be pretty great, to be honest with you. If we can burn him, that is going to be pretty great. So hopefully we don't miss. We don't miss, which is great. Hopefully he's not Lumberry. Hopefully he's not Lumberry. Did I just repeat myself? He's not Lumberry, which is great. That's perfect situation for us to be in. All right, so we don't have to worry about the Gyarados too much. Let's sell Pastel Frogs. All right, so he's going to go for another Dragon Dance, trying to double down and replenish that attack that he lost against um, the Burn. So let's go ahead and go for our Stealth Rocks real quick. And boom, we're good. Now is the time that I'm worried because he's going to get three Dragon Dances up. And when you're burned, I mean, he's burned in the sun at least. So his water type move won't do that much damage anyway. I think we go into, no, not have a mama swine. We could go into get, we could go into you, Venusaur. That's the one. Let's go into Venusaur real quick. There we go. Switching out, switching out, going into the Venusaur real quick. That's what we like to see. If he goes for waterfall, we can take it. If he goes dragon dance, it's fine. We're fine. We, we can deal with this. You know, we've been trained to deal with this situation right here so Gyarados is in this awkward position where he's burned and he's got three dragon dancers up so what do we do here that's the real question I don't I, I don't I don't I don't know uh, I'm trying to think whether I should go for a growth or not you know if he's setting up I want to set up type thing uh, growth would be pretty cool but you could just switch into Blissey Um, I don't think he will switch into Blissey now I think he's gonna just suicide his Gyarados just get it to do some attacks and stuff like that. So we might be better going for Giga Drain if he's going to go straight for an Ice Fang. I think going for Giga Drain straight off the bat is probably better. He goes for an Earthquake. I guess he doesn't have Ice Fang as his coverage move, which is fine. Does over half. And I'm hoping our Giga Drain does over... Oh, not the most amount of damage in the world, is it? We did get a nice little recovery back, though, which is always great. So, this situation's got a bit more dire. Well, we know he's going to go for an Earthquake. Maybe I should have gone for the Growth. <laughs> I think if we went for Growth plus Giga Drain, we might have been in a better situation. Um, there's no point trying to get more health back. Let's just go for a Sludge Bomb. Higher base damage move. Seems to be uh, the better option. As he goes for another Dragon Dance. Interesting. He's just trying to power up. He's going Super Saiyan 4 over there. Get it? Because four Dragon Dances. Super Saiyan. Uh, you know what? I'm just trying to be funny over here. It's not working though. <laughs> it's not working. So we got another Dragon Dance up. And now we're in this position where we could easily take out his Gyarados with a Giga Drain. 
Um, which is probably what I'm going to do. Even though he's burned, the plus four attack is still scary. Go for a Giga Drain. There we go. He goes for another Earthquake. It shouldn't take us out. It might take us out. Oh. That's no fun. Damn. Okay, so what do I do now? This is a tough, tough iceberg to crack. Is that, is that the right saying? Tough iceberg to crack? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and switch in to... Kind of want to go for Ice Shard. Just, you know, just to do something. With um, Mama Swine, but... Uh, this, this is not a good situation. I should have gone for the Growth first turn with Venusaur. Growth, then Giga Drain. Would have been much better off. Much better off. But it's all in hindsight. I'm a swine. Let's go. I am confident. That mama swine can take this thing out with an ice shard. So let's go and do it. I don't think after four, five, whatever it is, Dragon Lances, he's going to switch out. I think he's going to try and go for the kill with Waterfall and hope that ice shard doesn't KO. But in this instance, I am with being Life Orb. I think ice shard will KO. So hopefully we don't have to worry about the Gyarados anymore after this turn. All right, he's actually going to withdraw his Gyarados and save it for later. That's fair enough. And he goes into his Entei. Entei in the sun. Now, that is some power right there. Get the Stealth Rock damage off, which is great. Uh, we just go for an Ice Shard real quick. Do a little bit of chip damage to this thing. And I mean a little bit of chip damage. There's not that much, to be honest with you. So, uh, let's go ahead and switch out. Because we this is not who we want to have in against an Entei. Torkoal. Uh, Heatran. Maybe. Depends what he's going to do. I have Flame Body on Heatran, so I can't, I'm not immune to a, a Sacred Fire. I think we have to go into Torkoal first. I think that's the best play to do. So, go into Torkoal. And I think Entei's normally Choice Banded, so I guess we'll just see what it does here. Goes for a Stone Edge. He anticipated the sto this switch in, which is unfortunate. The Harsh Sunlight does fade, though, so that's kind of good against the Entei. <laughs> Um, now that he's going for a Stone Edge, though, I think he's locked in. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Hairy Armor real quick. There we go. Switch out. Go into Hairy Armor. Oh, Hari Ar is it Hari Armor? Hari Armor. There we go. All right, he goes for a Stone Edge. I'm not seeing Life Orb. Not seeing Leftovers. He's definitely Choice Banded. There's just no way around it. And I'm looking at his team, and I'm thinking the only switching he's got is Latios slash Gyarados. Um... So I think I'll go straight for a knockoff, to be honest with you. Yep, he's going to withdraw his Entei. Just the question is, what is he going into? He goes into the Scizor. That's a fair switch in. That's a fair switch in. We can knock off its leftovers or whatever item it's got, which is just fine and dandy. Let's go for the knockoff. It was a solid amount of damage. That was a decent amount of damage. I'm actually tempted to stay in and go for a close combat, but I don't really want to lose my uh, hairy armor. So... I'm going to go ahead and anticipate a U-turn. And I'm going to go for a close combat. Just so we can get loads of damage off on this scissor. He goes for a defog instead. That makes sense. Has a Zara up on his side of the field. We do still have Torkoal alive, which is fine. Uh, I'm hoping this close combat is enough to take him out, though. And it is. So the scissor has gone, which is great. Um, we got the defog off, which isn't as great. Because it means Gyarados can come back in freely. Um, it also means Entei is no, no longer limited. Um, I'm wondering what you're bringing now. You're probably bringing Latios to um, to frame my higher hairy armor out. That's what I guess. Seems like the best play. And he brings in Rotom. Interesting. Rotom's definitely an interesting one to switch into right here. I mean, it'll definitely finish me off probably. Um, thinking because he's got. Uh, I don't really want to put the Entei in a position where it can do stuff. So I kind of want to switch. What do I even switch in here? Do I just go for a knockoff? I think I just go for a knockoff. Gah. I don't know. I could just go for a close combat again. Let's just go for a close combat again. He won't burn me because I could be thick fat. Uh, I could be gut, sorry. So he goes for a Hydro Pump. We should be able to take this. I know close combat's there, but... We should still be able to take this. Let's go for close combat. Nearly taking it out, which is fantastic. And now I've just got to hope that he's not leftovers. Uh, there's my leftovers popping. And can I see your leftovers? 
Now, I showed you mine. Whatever. Anyway, let's go for a bullet punch. Um, pow, 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 pow. What? He lived on one HP. There was no way he was going to live that. That's bonkers. <laughs> bonkers. Oh, damn. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I see what's going on here now. All right, I'm going to go into Swallow. You know what's really cool? about Swellow, is that we've got perfect opportunity here. Let's just go for a quick attack and take him out. Go for a cheeky little quick attack. I've got three priority mons on my on my team, which is pretty, comes in pretty handy sometimes. All right, he's going to let me go for a quick attack and take him out. So bye bye, Rotom. It was nice seeing you. Nice knowing you. So that is a thing we've just got the toxic orb activated which is great so we don't have any damage this turn we got a free turn of ko in goodness and swellow's gonna come through and make a beat down for me there we go the latios comes in now i'm gonna guess by the way that he's abruptly brought this thing in that you know because personally i would have gone into the gyarados to get the intimidate off but I'm going to assume he's Choice Scarfed, if that's the case. And we do have a good switch in in Heatran, so let's just do that. Bring back Swallow. We'll go into the old Heatran over here. Now, what move this thing is going to go for, I'm not sure. He goes for a Thunderbolt. Okay, that's fair. Like I'm saying, uh, that damage, that's not Choice Specs damage, is it? That's Choice Scarf damage, I think. We'll know anyway, because if he's, if, he, he might be, if he's, well, if he's logged in... Go for a magma storm. Try and trap something. Probably the Blissey. Yeah, there's the Blissey. So the Blissey's here. We're gonna trap it with Magma Storm, hopefully. There we go. Trap it with Magma Storm real quick. Jesus, the residual damage that we're gonna be doing over every turn is gonna do more damage the initial than the initial damage. Which is crazy. Blissey's just so bulky, man. But anyway. I don't want this Blissey spreading around status. I don't really know what Blitzies usually do because sometimes I see it like offensive with Thunder and then sometimes I see it with like Stealth Rocks and stuff like that. I'm personally leaning towards Stealth Rocks on this one just based on his team team members. Uh, I'm going to go for a Taunt. I think that's probably the best, best play I've got. There we go. Go for the Taunt. I'm hoping he was going to go for a Stealth Rock or something so we can counteract that which would be great. Thunder Wave. That's also something I don't want to happen. Now, we're in a pretty good position. We're in a pretty good position. He can't switch out. We get a free switching on the Blissey, basically, which is great. Question is, what do we do from here? Because he's going to go for an attacking move of some kind. Now, I think, personally, we should go into... Um, her um, Mamoswine. I think we should go into Mamoswine. I'm envisioning in my head a way that we can finish off this guy's team with Swallow again. I think Swallow is going to be the main cookie of this game again. Goes for the Seismic Toss. It's so weird how the battle background's still there when there's a globe. Like, it used to be that you throw into space, but it's like, whatever. Anyway, it's not important. So, now, definitely going to probably switch out. I'd say they switch into a Gyarados since an earthquake is pretty obvious but I'm in this position where I don't really care if he goes into Gyarados because I'll just go for an ice shard and finish it off after that so I'm gonna go for an earthquake and I think that's probably the best bit to go for so it does switch out goes into Latios now this isn't the worst situation to be in not it's not the worst situation to be in in the world um because I'm setting this up so that Swallow can come through and just win. So me going for an Ice Shard right now is fine because it means even if this Latios is Choice Scarf, we can still go for Quick Attack on Swallow and KO it. So let's go for the Ice Shard. If we're lucky, we'll crit. <laughs> no, we don't crit, of course. Um, we're definitely going to get taken out right now, probably by Surf or a Psychic. There we go. Should take us out. If it doesn't, well, poor Latios. So there goes the Mama Swine. And I believe that means in comes 
Oh, we could do heat training. No, in comes the swallow. There we go. Swallow can come in. And uh, we could just go for a quick attack real quick. That's exactly what I'm going to do. All right, they're going to withdraw the Latios, which is cool. Goes into the Blissey. Blissey is just setting up to be fooled on. Quick attack does not the best amount of damage in the world, but it's not quick attack that we're concerned about. I'm just hoping that we've got enough power to beat it with a facade. And if we don't, we screw the pooch. But I feel like facade is going to take it out, so I'm going to go exactly for that. I don't want to go for Brave Bird because the recoil damage will be stupid. There we go. We can go for a facade. Take out the Blissey, which is perfect. I'm so glad Blissey's gone. Blissey, just go away. No one likes you, Blissey. Okay, remove yourself from the Pokedex. You know, I hope you get cut from Scarlet and Violet, along with Clefable. All right, they're going to send in the Latios now. Maybe they're confident that uh, Quick Attack's not going to KO, but I believe it is, to be honest with you. So let's go for the Quick Attack. There we go. Go for the Quick Attack. Boom, boom, boom. Nicely done. The Latios goes down. I'm guessing they're trying to store toxic turns so that Entei can come in and actually finish off the Swellow with the Extreme Speed Choice Banded. But they seem to be forgetting that I have Heatran. Unless they haven't forgot and they're actually ant anticipating the Heatran switch. But all that'll do is leave you open for another Swellow. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Talk Hole to take whatever move this Entei decides it wants to go for. In comes the Torkoal. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Doesn't really matter about the sun. Doesn't really matter about boosting the Sente's power. Goes for the extreme speed. Definitely going to take out Torkoal, of course. However. No. This was probably the... No, probably not the most successful play. We got the sun up, though. Anyway. So, we can go into Heatran real quick. We know this thing's lock locked into extreme speed. We can go for an Earth power. Which is cool. What do we go for Magma Storm? I think we go for Magma Storm because he's obviously going to switch into Gyarados now and sack it off. There we go. This switch into Gyarados to sack it off. Um, probably so that you can go for a Sacred Fire instead on my um, Heatran. Makes sense on paper, but he has only this and one other Pokemon left. Ah, oh, really? Really? I missed the Magma Storm. That is just brutal. Absolutely brutal. Can't believe I've done this. Can't believe it's done this. Well, I'm going to go for another one anyway. I'm going to hit the next one. Heatran, do you hear that? And you're going to hit this next one. Oh my lordy lordy lord. He's burned so it shouldn't, it shouldn't KO. I swear, Flash Cannon won't take him out from here. Will it? I don't want to risk it. <laughs> I don't want to whisk it, man. Um, we'll have to see how this plays out. I need to hit this next one. I want to hit it before the timer comes out. Come on. Come on. Stupid 20-minute timer. Give us an extra minute or something. There we go. Magma Storm. Ah, now that that's gone, the, the Entei can come in. And the Entei has to go for something like Sacred Fire or Bulldoze. It doesn't get Earthquake for some reason. We'll go for Bulldoze, take our Heatran, we bring in Swellow, we take our Entei pretty easily. That's how this works. Right, if we can be really quick and pick our moves. Go, 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 go. Right, he goes for Extreme Speed, he locks himself into that. It's not going to KO me, which is unfortunate for them. Go for a Magma Storm. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that damage. That is some beautiful damage right there. You know what? They might actually, they might have actually won this. I think it's a toss up because I could live another extreme speed. I think with that health after the leftovers, you know, it's a toss up. Does the extreme speed KO my Heatran and then proceed to KO my Swallow, or does it not? I don't know. I don't. I, I honestly, it's, uh, I, I don't know if a Heatran would live another extreme speed and take it out, or whether or not. Uh, the he Entei would take out the Heatran and then the Swallow because it's locked itself into extreme speed and we can't prioritize it with Swallow. That was a close one. I'm not sure. I'll let you guys in the comments decide who won that one. 
because I'm, I'm, I'm no idea. I thought it was a pretty fun game though. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.